Yes, Ross, we've been following your live blog. Again, excellent job this morning. Fill us in. Well, Glenda, if the weight of today's hearing was getting to Bobby Ferguson, he certainly did not show it. He walked in smiling, uh, hugging his lawyers, shaking their hands, and looking as if he didn't have a care in the world. He lost, I would estimate, about 40 pounds while he was in prison. He's been there the last six or seven months, and he looked like he lost a ton of weight, and as I said, in very good spirits. Uh, a couple of things that Heather did not touch on. Uh, he brought a Bible with him, and when he addressed the judge, he uh, read a couple of passages from it and said, said he just wants to glorify God's name. He said that he believes there's a genocide on black people in America and it's reduced prosperity and liberty to nothing. Obviously some very charged language coming from Ferguson. Clearly if there was one thing that uh, came through in his about 10 minute address to the judge, it's that he thinks he has done nothing wrong. As you said earlier, Kwame Kilpatrick at least approached an apology yesterday in his address to the judge. That was not at all something that we saw with Bobby Ferguson who was pretty adamant pretty defiant that he has done nothing wrong and he is a victim in this process as Heather mentioned his wife and daughter were here for his sentencing he seemed to be talking to them very briefly throughout uh, today's two-hour hearing uh, he stood up uh, once he had to be handcuffed after he got that 21 year sentence uh, he seemed to mouth a few words to them and he was then led back uh, into a holding room and then it's off to prison